So growing up, your sister or your brother would always call dibs on your favorite toy or eat the last piece of cake. Find out what would happen if this was your sibling. Sharks can muster about 40,000 pounds per square inch of pressure in a single bite. And with that bite, they thrash around their soon-to-be meals in an attempt to tear off chunks of meat. To say that they're fierce predators is an understatement. In fact, for some sharks, the ferocity has its beginnings in the womb. Female tiger sharks have a left and a right uterus, which typically support about five to seven shark pups each, but only two emerge. That's because the pup in each uterus has already eaten all the brothers and sisters that shared the womb with it. And this is known as embryonic cannibalism, an extreme version of sibling rivalry. Female tiger sharks mate with several males, and this results in various stages of embryo gestation. So when the largest embryo reaches the size of about 100 millimeters, this is about five months into a 12 month gestation stint, well, they break out of their egg capsules and they begin to hunt their brothers and sisters. But this really doesn't make them vicious jerks, it just means that they have a readily available nutrient source in front of them so that once they're born, they're large enough to defend themselves. After all, unlike some species that are coddled at birth, sharks actually have to enter into the ocean with their dukes up, ready to do battle with larger sharks that sometimes feast on smaller ones. In a way, this should be comforting to us humans. I mean, sharks are far more interested in marine animals than us hairy bipedal yakkers. All right, embryonic cannibalism does it make you feel worse about sharks, better about sharks, or does it feed into your galliophobia or fear of sharks? Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.